SMART goals real quick. If you don't know what SMART is, it's just an acronym. Um, SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So every goal that you set needs to be specific, right? It needs to be detailed. It needs to be measurable so we can we can track it over time for those small wins. Achievable, realistic, which we already talked about, right? Relevant, it matters to you. And time-bound, it has an end goal. And so that's where that whole, like, just make it a lifestyle thing. Yeah, that's great. But when? You know, that that's why making something a lifestyle there, there's no, the, the, it's missing the time bound aspect. So it's very important that we, we set these smart goals, achieve them along the way, and that becomes our lifestyle, right? And it does take time for that to happen. And that's why keeping those short term wins in mind along the way is so important. And a couple of things that, that do help and uh, might sound kind of little like, hippy dippy stuff, you know, but sometimes the hippy stuff's good stuff. Um, when you, you know, when that motivation is dwindling, like use some visualization, visualization, like if we know what success looks like, just take 60 seconds, close your eyes, visualize what that person looks like. Think about what you could do when you reach that end goal, right? And as lame as that sounds, that small thing will get you just that little spark of motivation that you need in that moment, right? Give you that spark of excitement. And then that excitement will allow you to get disciplined for a period of time, get you some results, and that motivation kicks back in. So you always want to be able to refer back to what you originally wanted. And visualization can be a great way to do that. Write them down. I'm a huge fan. I actually haven't done this in a while myself. So maybe I'll get back to it. Like actually, and I and I learned this from uh, a guy named Grant Cardone, who's big, like, like more on the real estate side, and a lot of people don't like him. But um, one thing that I learned from him is when you write your goals down, you write them down as if they already happened. Like, I, if your goal is to weigh under 200 pounds, you're not going to write down, I want to weigh less than 200 pounds. You're going to write down, I weigh 198 pounds. And you're you're making it feel present. You're make, you're writing it down as if it already happened. I can play baseball with my grandkids. I am playing baseball with my grandkids. I am pitching to them as they hit the ball and run around the bases, and that makes it feel like it's actually happening because that will implant confidence in you. And remember that the way we actually build confidence is to say we're going to do something and then do it. And then you say you're going to do something again. You do it again and again and again and again.